in the whole, the continuing development of the fruit market perfectly illustrates regeneration with commercial and residential components. We're still looking at other opportunities around, around the Yorkshire region as a, as, as a whole, um, but we're seeing rental growth, especially around office and industrial and manufacturing, warehousing space, retail trying to rebalance itself of what it's doing going forward. But that's about trying to create new destinations, it's trying to create a collaborative attitude around in city centres and town centres, and councils have got to be part of that. You get a real perspective on the projects across Yorkshire when you look at our category, celebrating the local authority of the year. Here in Hull, they won during their City of Culture year last year. They're nominated again in 2018, partly for this building, the Bonus Arena, down the road in Selby. They've been identified as the fastest growing district in North Yorkshire. In Calderdale, £200 million worth of capital projects are getting underway as I speak to you. And in Leeds, the groundworks have begun to double the size of the city centre. It's really important that uh, if we're working with investors and developers who really want to, to land their, their commitment in our districts, that we recognise their motivations. Um, and equally, they need to recognise ours. So it does come back to that point about collaboration and communication and really ensuring that we have the right relationships in place. There will always be challenges um, and there will always be a commercial edge to these things. But I think if we can all begin to speak the same language um, and recognise where there's scope for compromise and scope for realising deliverability, then that's half the battle. And the importance of collaboration was key in the landing of the biggest ever commercial deal in Leeds for the government's property agency, as part of the continued success story that is Wellington Place. The team was very slick in terms of the speed at which we, we were doing things. Um, and a contractor we've worked with for many years, so you know everybody was working to a script that had been honed over three or four buildings previously. You know, it's one of those ones where all the stars aligned, and and it put us in this fabulous position to be able to secure that deal. And you know that journey continues with a building that is progressing really well. We're ahead of program. We've started a building almost every year for five years, and we we want to continue that as long as the market will support that and the you know the, the macroeconomic environment will support that. Well, Developer of the Year and the Commercial Development of the Year are two important categories of the awards and my next location encapsulates both those categories. But in order to bring it to you, I'm going to enlist the help of this little beauty. I think Yorkshire as a whole there is a, there is a sense of positivity. I think there is a sense of um, a lot more to be done. We've got a lot of investment in infrastructure. Great things are going to happen with Leeds Bradford Airport, which for a while has been the great underperformer in, in the UK. Um, there's greater investment in, uh, in, in the rail network, with really underpinned by that understanding that it's often the infrastructure connections that make the difference, that lay the platform that allow commercial development to come forward. We know that there is uncertainty in the broader political sphere, but I think there is a real sense of Let's just get on and, and do business in Yorkshire. And finally, to those who may have tripped the light fantastic in the Majestic in Leeds, the future is looking bright again for this iconic building. It sums up the work that we're trying to do here about creating some new great workspace for the city. It's about being innovative, thinking differently about your used buildings, about respecting the past but giving it as a purpose for the future and so being innovative, but growing, growing the city, helping the city develop and move forward in the city region, but also being ambitious and looking ahead. So another fantastic year for property projects in Yorkshire. Many of you tonight will be talking about new projects for 2019 and beyond, and I hope to report to you about those in the future. But for now, it is time to find out who are the winners of the Yorkshire Property Industry Awards 2018. Bye for now.